Hello, this is Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and we are at Telecom TV's very own DSP Leaders Forum 2019. And I'm talking with Alex Quash, who is the VP and GM, Wireline and Core Network Division, Network Platforms Group at Intel. Alex, welcome. What role does the network edge play in 5G? And what service do you think will get rolled out first? Wow. Well, so the network edge plays a absolute critical role um, with the rollout of 5G networks. Uh, the edge has, uh, I think, has been somewhat nascent uh, up until now. There's been some services rolled out, um, you know, from the from an edge perspective. But maybe I should take a step back and, and um, talk about the network edge itself. When the edge means a lot of things to a lot of a lot of people, and and so um, when we talk about the edge. It really is an infinite number of locations from your data center all the way to the device. Maybe it's a handset. But um, that space in between um, the data center and the device, which is uh, potentially thousands of kilometers, are all areas for a network edge. Uh, and so we, we can start there. To make things a little bit more simple, I tend to think of the edge as three main categories. Uh, b moving beyond the data center itself, the first edge is what I would call the near edge, or uh, what from a service provider uh, would define it as maybe a central office, uh, or a metro or a regional uh, point of presence. Mm -hmm. That's a near edge. Uh, there's, uh, depending on the service provider, depending on the country, the size of the country, and the size of the network, there's probably anywhere from tens to the high hundreds of uh, sites at, at, this, at this first edge. Then there is the far edge. Um, which is uh, essentially uh, an aggregation point of um, cell sites, of base station sites. Uh, and again, depending on the geography and the service provider, um, we're probably talking about thousands of sites as opposed to tens to hundreds. Um, and this is what we call the far edge associated with uh, the aggregation of wireless base stations. And then there's the third edge, uh, which is the on-premise uh, enterprise edge. And, the, and this is essentially where um, equipment gets put in the enterprise itself, at the companies um, uh, itself. Uh, and we'll call that the on-premise edge. And in the context of 5G, um, where in the past, uh, a, a bit of data, a packet of data moved from, let's say, a handset all the way to the data center, crossing hundreds, if not thousands of uh, kilometers. Now we're looking at, well, 5G brings so much more speed and throughput, and you can do so much more with new um, service models and ultimately business models. The data isn't necessarily very efficient moving all the way into the cloud when the cloud can actually move closer and closer to the device so that you can process and disposition um, the, the request coming in from the devices back to the device in a very, very uh, quick manner. And so the build out of the edge means that you're bringing the data center closer and closer to the device. And whether it's uh, in the enterprise itself and you have uh, latencies, round trip latencies of one millisecond of less or uh, 40 milliseconds of less as opposed to bringing it all the way back to the data center of let's say 100 milliseconds or less. And in that, in that uh, spectrum, the service providers can actually now uh, provide service level guarantees uh, to their customers uh, so that they have a very, very uh, responsive um, network uh, to different uh, new services. And so from an edge perspective, this particular uh, set of edge build outs, and, it, and depending on the service providers, depending on the types of services, will look very different. Um, but this, this edge is absolutely critical to uh, the build out and to the, um, the promise of, of 5G. Uh, and in that context, um, when service providers look at building out their edges, um, these are new build outs typically. Uh, they have some existing equipment, they have some existing legacy equipment um, that is used for some of their um, existing services and legacy services. But as we uh, talked about previously, when you move to a 5G network, you really want a, a software defined um, programmable network uh, that is virtualized. 
And um, when service providers look at building out the edge locations, whether it's the near edge, uh, the far edge, or the, uh, the enterprise edge, it's critical that they actually start building with new technologies that are scalable and have the headroom to grow and to add services uh, over time. And so uh, Intel as an underlying platform provider um, has uh, now the high compute, high storage, networking, and artificial intelligence capabilities for platforms to be uh, located all throughout these different edge locations, whether it's uh, the on-premise edge with uh, uh, virtual CPEs or universal CPEs that actually host a number of enterprise services, or uh, platforms that go into the far edge, which are uh, virtualized uh, RAN um, type uh, uh, functions. So these are base station functions, if you will. But then on top of these functions, these network functions, you will have more and more uh, 5G services that will come, out, come later. No, nobody really knows all of these great 5G services that are coming yet. And so you want to have the capability to add these services over time. And then where the bulk of the focus from a service provider perspective today is the near edge. Um, that's really the most economical uh, edge to build out because we talked about tens to hundreds of sites as opposed to thousands of sites. Easier to manage, easier to orchestrate, and, and the more economical, and service providers will build out as uh, the needs come. And in the near edge, uh, the types of services that are uh, coming on uh, today are things like uh, a, a CDN, uh, you know, just uh, for delivery of content for, for Netflix, for example, that gets closer to the user. Uh, and then a lot of network functions themselves. We talked about the 5G core network. There is a function called the user plane function that is uh, in the core network in the data center today on a 4G network that will move out to the, f to the near edge in 5G. So that will be one of the first network functions to get rolled out in the, five, in, the, in the edge, in the context of 5G. And then we build out on, on top of that. But there are some basic functions for the network itself that will justify the build out of this near edge. And then the, the big promise of the trillions of dollars of 5G services coming in that no one really knows what they are yet uh, will come on top of these, these platform build out. Alex Quash, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.